Here you go. Um, American Navy's destroyer conducted the freedom of navigation operation in the ocean area around Spratly Island in the South China Sea. The Ministry of Defense of China protested this operation as the U.S. Navy illegally entered into the ocean area without getting permission from China. And the U.S. Navy's Seventh Fleet announced that the destroyer Benford conducted the freedom of navigation operation around Spratly Island in the South China Sea. And the U.S. Navy emphasized that it will execute military operations everywhere as long as the international law allows. So, in response to this stance of the U.S. Navy, the Chinese government insisted that the U.S. Navy entered into the, the ocean area controlled by China without getting permission from China. So, the Ministry of Defense of China announced that it has alerted the U.S. Navy to leave the ocean area after tracking and surveilling, and China shows its stance to contain the U.S. Navy. The China uh, criticized the United States like this behavior would significantly lose peace and stability of uh, South China Sea. To tell you the truth, China doesn't want anybody to go against what China does and what China has decided. If other countries complain about what China is doing, China rejects this complaint as interference in a domestic affair. And if a country is likely to violate the rule that China selfishly sets, China strongly de denies what a country does as a disturbing element that uh, threaten peace and stability in the area. So one thing I can say for sure about this is the thing which causes a problem of loss of civility and peace in the area where China insisted that it belongs to China is nothing else but the rule that China selfishly made ironically. So the United States clarified the position of this operation to collapse the China's extreme insist that this ocean area belongs to China and on 13th July the US Navy 7th Fleet refuted the insist of the Ministry of Defense of China with quite long sentence like the United States Navy problematized the China's draw an archipelagic baseline around parcel islands that is not pr approved to continental states and it uniquely sets the extremely large territorial sea area with no approval from the United Nations Convention on the Law of Seas. So last month, uh, China enforced a military guideline called Outline Non-War Military Operation. So simultaneously, a high government officials of China asserted the Taiwan Strait was within the territorial sea of China as well. So the United States is seeing that China interferes other countries with the freedom of sea around Taiwan Straits as well. So at this time, um, the United States, United States Navy strongly contain, contained the China, China's Navy, Chinese Navy with a naval operation this time. So moreover, China Taiwan and Vietnam are claiming territorial rights of parcel islands and each country asks other countries to get the permission to enter into the territorial ocean area of parcel islands. But the United States insisted that none of these countries have the territorial rights of parcel islands.